Just onto the old standby GoPro session today. It's a nice day, but it's cold. So we're heading out to the south. Sort of south. Ooh. Tiny little bit east, not much east. So first thing to do is to check if we are uh, moved direction since I set my wing up. I think the answer is that we have. I'll just have a wee look. If you stand behind your motor, you can see I'm really want to be pointing kind of that way. Before I change, just give it a little bit, give it a couple of minutes, just see if it's going to stay there, if it's going to move about. Last thing you want to be doing is kind of moving the wing and then finding it, you have to move it again. So just um, looking at it, it's moving around again and it is moving around quite a bit. Not much wind is good for when you're in the air. But um, it does mean that something's getting up into the air can be a bit of a fanning about thing. So now we're coming from the southwest. Quite strongly. In the south again. I'm just looking like we're going to be straight down the road here. Yep, okay. So let's move the wing. Apart from the fact that we're going to have to run the also, the wind tends to be a lot less stable in its direction. So, uh, you set up and then you find that it's near 45 degrees. This is a bit of a fast. Without rushing, what we're trying to do is not faff about too much and let the wind change direction again. So, uh, so I'm running towards my van basically. Lots of things. Okay. Chains off. It's just slippy, it's difficult to. So the ground is frozen solid. Which, uh, it's a bit of a fur. Right. 
it's way off now so I'm kind of hoping it's going to come back so um, I'm going to take a punt at the fact it's going to come back uh, and set up anyway back yet still I'm hopeful it's gonna so start the engine So um, there's a helicopter, a police helicopter in the sky here. You can't really see it in the video, but um, it was about, I don't know, about a kilometre or so away. I was just keeping my eye on it. And I'm notorious for not seeing you, so I'm kind of consciously looking for it. But once I get to the other side of the motorway, it was obviously following the motorway there, I know I'm safe. Here's a 360 around Ipswich, starting at the Orwell Bridge there, going around to North Ipswich, and you can see the sort of inversion layer, that sort of black line in the background, and it's just keeping all the sort of um, haze down, and uh, there's a stour and uh, Alton Water in the background, and then they're back to Orwell Bridge, is the big bridge, going out to the North Sea.
That was a good flight, about an hour, we just uh, took off, flew east all the way over to the other side of the Ipswich, round the Orwell Bridge, and uh, and back, max height about four and a half thousand feet, it, uh, and it never really got too windy, the only thing is that uh, this, it really looks so bad here, but there's just a haze, and it's not a ground haze, it's all the way up. Still only at 5,000 feet, you've still, still got that haze. So, uh, it didn't affect the flight, it was nice. It was a little bit first with um police helicopter on this side. And I was kind of keeping my eyeball on it, making sure he was, because they're notorious for not seeing you, you know. Uh, so I quickly got above that, I got a good thousand feet above it. Kept my eye on him and he was... You know, and he bogged off, so that wasn't so bad. And uh, apart from that, it's quite a nice flight. Just a pity I, I couldn't do it in 360. But um, it was hazy and I was quite high up. Probably wouldn't have been that good a flight to do 360 anyway. So I'll work on the 360, get the gimbal to work a bit better. And then next time, we'll do some, do some 360 then. Uh, apart from that, let's see, uh, that was about an hour's flight. About what? Uh, three, uh, three liters, three and a half liters, maybe. Quite a lot for me, but I was on full throttle, all the way up to five thousand. So, so there we go. Signing out.